degenerative meniscal tears are commonly seen in physiotherapy practice. When these tears become symptomatic, they may limit functioning in daily activities. Patients may respond differently to physiotherapy treatments, so in this video we will discuss a study that looked at whether different trajectories of improvement exist and investigated targets for treatment. Hi, and welcome to PhysioTutors. In their trial, Bjornerberg et al. included patients between 35 and 60 years who had degenerative medial meniscal tears. The outcome of interest was patient-reported knee function, which was assessed using the knee injury and osteoarthritis outcome score at baseline 3 and 12 months and at 2 and 5 years. The COAST questionnaire examines pain and other symptoms, functioning in activities of daily living, functioning in sport and recreational activities, and knee-related quality of life. Each of these subscales are scored from 0, which is worse, to 100, which is better. Over five years, three trajectories for patient-reported function were identified. 10 to 12% of the participants had low and minimal improvements. 20 to 36% went through with moderate and gradual improvements and 53 to 70% achieved high and early improvements. Patients who improved minimally experienced some improvements in pain and their activity levels. Patients that had moderate improvements improved better on all subscales except for symptoms. Lastly, patients with high improvements showed smaller improvements overall, but the five-year COAST scores were close to or above 90 points for all subscales. On the other hand, Patients who improved minimally or gradually had a higher body mass index, more symptoms of depression and anxiety, greater knee pain, poorer perceived knee function, weaker hamstrings and quadriceps strength, and worse functional performance compared to patients with early improvements. Meniscal extrusion and radiographic signs of knee osteoarthritis were also significantly associated with minimal improvements. To conclude, the majority of patients with degenerative medial meniscal tears will experience early improvements after 12 months with pain and functioning approaching normative data for individuals without knee pain. Clinically relevant improvements can be achieved in up to two years. Higher body mass index, more anxiety and depression, poorer knee function and performance increase the risk of minimal improvement over five years weak quadriceps and hamstring strength, and functional performance are prognostic factors that can be targeted in rehab. All right, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. You can read more of my research reviews for free on physiotutors.com. This was Ellen for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video.